there Aquarius it's time for your July 2024 reading okay so let's see what's going on doing the house bread here so we're starting to see what's coming through your front door let's see July 2024 we have here a daydream imagination allow your mind to wander there's gonna be a quiet time in July Ooh, quiet time okay let's see what else we have for coming through the front door and then we have freedom I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness Ooh, that's a good I am <laughs> Okay, so let's see what else we get here. And then we have the hermit. Okay, so it looks like you're going with it. Okay, I think there's a lot going to be happening here. It might be quiet, but you're doing a lot of soul searching here. And you're following your heart here. Look at this hermit. With this hermit, the heart chakra is lit up and so is this lantern so someone's realizing something so what's coming through is use your imagination meditate go within yeah just allow your your mind to wander because you're going to find many amazing things it seems like i really like this it feels very peaceful calming that's not a bad thing okay so now let's see what's cooking in the kitchen what is cooking in the kitchen for Aquarius? We have sun, illumination, growth, God energy. So yeah, okay, so yeah, so it almost feels like take the time out in July. Go within because you're going to get busy. Something's cooking, something is in, it's like something percolating. <laughs> That's what it feels like, the energy, like something's getting, you're going to be, in the spotlight you're gonna be getting a lot of attention so take your quiet time in July before things take off okay adversity I accept the challenges are the best way to learn I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Okay, so there might be some challenges with this illumination because you know what? You're going to go from quiet. It almost feels like you can go from quiet to like all of a sudden you're getting like all this attention. So it might be a little much. So let's see what else we get here. Whoa, that's way too many. It's like a third of the deck. <laughs> There's a lot coming at you. That's what that means. Let's see. Okay, we got two here. So we have, oh, we got three. Okay, so we have the two of pentacles, a page of pentacles, and we have the three of cups. So with this, you're going to be juggling a lot. You're going to have to make decisions. You have someone coming in here with an offer, a page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's going to be maybe an invitation, a, a meeting, a party, a get-together. Um, it also could be that someone's offering you something, and you're going to celebrate whatever this is, but it's going to be a lot for you, I think. Okay, let me get a charm on this page of pentacles. We have a snail. So something maybe that seemed like it was very slow coming, and then all of a sudden, it feels like an energy of something you been, might have been waiting for forever. And then when it comes, it's going to be like super quick. And very, it's just like everything just starts moving. It almost feels like everything's been going at a very slow pace for the longest time. And now it's just going to like switch gears and go into fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So now let's go see what you're living with. Oh wait, let me get the words on this page of pedicles. It's saying get prepared for things. You know, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting prepared for something. I don't know what, but it's like. I just had an issue with my um, office and I was having such problems with it that I ended up, you know, saying, okay, sometimes things happen for a reason. That's why I'm going to say this adversity. I'm already feeling this. It feels like um, sometimes you just got to go through the flow and, and thank God for the fact that maybe you're going through something because sometimes it prevents something else. Like just now, over this, like when the, with this full moon, I yesterday, not yesterday, well, Today's Sunday. You're going to see this Monday. 
started Saturday. I was trying to do something on the computer and next I know I had an issue with my office. What a fiasco. I had a fight with it and fight with it and fight with it. And finally, I got to the point where I had such a mess that I just started taking files and saving them to an external drive um, because I just didn't want things started going up in the cloud that I want, didn't want in the cloud. So I said, okay, so I'm going to just save my stuff because I look at sometimes these things that are like forcing you to do something. Sometimes they're, this is like, it was like a tower moment for me. It was a major because I wanted, I had other plans. I actually wanted to post these for Sunday, but well, like they say, if you want to make God's laugh, tell them what your plans are. So you got to go with the flow. Sometimes this is for a reason. So that's why I felt that was, because now I feel so much better because I have a lot of stuff that isn't like, sometimes you wonder, you say, I think I have it. I don't have it in the cloud, but sometimes you think, did, you, did I put it there too? And I don't know. I mean, you could eventually find it, but sometimes you're just not sure. At least I'm not. Okay, later. Surprise. Look at that. The three. Jealousy. Tower. Oh my gosh. That's what this energy felt like that I already experienced. And I said, even like the Mercury retrogrades. Whenever we have a Mercury retrograde, I always feel it two weeks prior. So this is like you know less than two weeks here that I this is what I feel here and I don't know about the jealousy but I'm saying the surprise tower but later it just seems sort of, sort of work out but so okay so there's a tower airy Scorpio energy some kind of surprise so we have like a double surprise of someone's jealous someone my lady might found someone's jealous so something might happen here that surprises you and it could be out of jealousy okay now let's go over to the living room what are you currently living with Okay, here we go. Hawthorne. This is balance. It's elemental kingdom. So yeah, so something is actually, you're living with something actually coming to balance. It feels like maybe the energy like you're living with was sort of, I don't want to say hostile, but maybe not comfortable. Maybe for some of you it was hostile. But now it's like, it's coming to balance. Things are starting to work out. Oh, come on guys okay envy i am the same as everybody but with different challenges okay see so got jealousy here and you have envy here you're doing quite well and there might be getting some jealousy because of it but yeah there's that um i am the same as everybody but with different challenges we all have things we're going through everybody has something different they have to deal with to make these look straight <laughs> come on okay okay so we have the six of cups so something you're living with might be coming into balance it might be something returning from the past but you know it almost feels like yeah, you might have a person. It could be a friend. It could be something from the past returning. And because you achieved this, you're getting recognition. You're in the spotlight. And you did a lot of healing. You did a lot of growth. But you went through a lot to get there. But you have someone showing up from the past. Whether it's a friend, an ex-lover, a situation. Being jealous of what you accomplished. How you are in balance. And it's like, what the heck? You know, it wasn't... It, it feels like, well, if they wouldn't feel that way if you're still going through stuff. They probably expect, if you've been going through stuff for a while and they knew you're going through stuff, and now they come in and they find out that you're doing better, it's like a jealousy because of it, an enviness. Enviness? Yeah, enviness. Okay. Okay, let's go over to the office and see what's cooking in the office. What's What are you working on? What's the career? Um, your career, your your finances if you're retired then what are you doing in replace of what you're doing for work you would just replace it with that 
And if you're not doing anything, well then, I can't make that hap anything happen for you if you're not doing anything out there. Okay, let's see. Okay, yellow. Flexibility, adaptability, and personal power. Ooh, I love that. Next to the sun, too. Is, yeah, you're, this is a time where you come into power. Very powerful energy here. And you're adapting because things are shifting, things are changing, and you're just going with the flow. So that is good. Okay, so we have the death card. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Yes. So you are you might be ending something as far as your career. Some, some might be going into retirement, but that means a new beginning to do something else, to apply yourself someplace else. I'm feeling a very strong energy of someone, um, yeah, for newly retiring. So it feels like, what do I do? Well, there's things that you could find. What do you like to do? What do you have an interest in? Maybe you can make some money at it. Do something. It's something you really love to do. So, so yeah. So whatever ends, a new something new begins. Some of you could be ending something for a new job. Doing something different. Okay. Let's clarify that. But yeah, there's an ending so you could take back your power to be empowered. We have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is, to me, this is saying to do what you love, to put your energy into something you love here. Um, Knight of Cups is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. But I would say this is you taking your power back to, to give yourself the love to do or to do something the way you love to do it let's see we have here this communication coming in okay scorpio cancer pisces someone could be coming towards you could be meeting someone at work too with the knight of cups it could be any sign but they're coming in and they're going to start communicating okay present meeting Ooh, surprise. Okay, so this is going to be someone, it might happen in the present here, or they might present you with something, or actually bring you a present at a meeting, meeting them, having them. There's some kind of surprise happening here. You're not going to expect this. Something might be presented to you at a meeting, too, that surprises you, but makes you happy. Okay, let's go over to the bedroom. What's happening in the bedroom? Let's see. Autumn. Abundance. Preparation to harvest. Okay. <laughs> There's going to be abundance in the bedroom. So get ready. Take your vitamins. <laughs> Okay, harvest time. Okay, let's see. Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer ass assist in my soul's growth. Okay, so I think with this I'm going to say that you're going to have many opportunities here. And you might have to release someone here that you're not feeling like it's not. You don't mesh maybe on a soul level you don't have the same beliefs you don't have the the same um i feel like you don't you the same virtues the same ethics the same the same way of being so you might the guilt might be that you're going to have to let something go okay but if it doesn't mesh with you you know, you got a lot coming in here. You got a lot that you've been working at, and there's no reason why you should have to go backwards to meet with someone else. I, that's the energy I'm feeling like. You can't go backwards with all the work you put in to be at someone else's level. It's like you can't lower your standards to 
you know, they have to, you rather have someone come up to your expectations, you know, um, you're, you're vibrating at a higher level than someone here that's coming in or someone you're with. So they either have to raise their vibration or it's not going to work. You can't lower your vibration to connect with them. Okay, let's see. So we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're gonna be in your Queen of Swords. Look at this Queen. Oh, see, I gotta go. see that back there. Look at those people hanging. <laughs> Those are the ones that didn't make it. <laughs> so that's, but you know, she's not guilty. She's just, you know, working on her food. <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry. I don't know. I just, I find this card amusing. It's not really amusing, but it is in a way. I mean, it's kind of strange. I hear she's doing her flowers here, paying attention to her flowers, having no. You know, not paying any attention to those people hanging at the bridge. And that's what the energy feels like. And there's like guilt, but no, she has no guilt. <laughs> Queen of Swords, yeah. It, it's like if you can't mash my energy, is, is what I'm feeling here, then it's just like it can't work. It just can't work. So, um,. Queen of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but it's definitely your energy in this because you're working so hard for so long on yourself that, that you can't let someone else come in and just like, okay, you know, and then um, gaslight you or ghost you or whatever they do and expect you to put up with it. No. You're going to say, next. Sorry. Don't need this. Okay, so let's get something on this Queen of Swords. We have the toothpaste. Okay, with the toothpaste, okay, maybe someone works in a dentist's office. Maybe you're dealing with a dentist, a dental hygienist, a, um, the receptionist, I don't know. Or it could be polishing something up. Almost like it's like you're polishing everything up for yourself here. It's like, you know, you've been working on yourself for so long. I say that you're very polished. So if someone isn't polished, they they got to leave. That's it. Okay, let's see. Very soon, mystery, gift, thinking. Oh. So you might be receiving, someone's thinking, very soon someone's thinking of coming in with a gift for you. It's a mystery though. You're not expecting it. It feels like, yeah, there's someone is planning on something here. They want to give you something, but you never expect it. Okay, let's move over to the spare bedroom. So... What else do you, needs your attention? What else should we look at here in the spare bedroom? So we have here food, nourishment, relationships, health. And this one, this one is connected to this one, so I'm taking it too. And we have past life gifts. Review. Oh, we have another one. I didn't know that. Okay. So there is a promotion, a prophecy past life gifts review and we have food nourishment relationships okay health so there's going to be some kind of that there's a past life connection coming in for you guys and you're going to be reviewing this um you have gifts of prophecy here so we have the i you know i did i say promotion this is premonition i think i might have said the word promotion or read it and not i not said it but i said this is premonition but I feel like um, it could be a promotion in your psychic abilities because that's what's going to say something. Yeah, so what you don't see here is there is some kind of nourishment for your soul going on in relationship, in health. There's a past life connection that's coming back in for review here. And so it's up to you what you want to do about that. Wow, that's pretty heavy duty. Okay, so now let's get a card on that. Got three of them there. Hmm. 
and we have service i feel good when i can help others <clears throat> so a lot of you guys are going to be reading people or using your intuition your prophecy to help others <clears throat> yeah look at clear my throat here scratchy things have to come out things have to be said <coughs> wow wow my throat feels all scratchy someone might be a little hesitant about doing this yep this is coming up someone is connecting to a past life where they actually were really into their intuition they might be a prophet of some sort or there's something about their prophecy and maybe there's something connected with that <coughs> oh my god Oh my God! You know what I'm getting here? I'm looking at. Um, I got. They show me a flash. This picture over here of how I pointed out those hanging. Oh my God! I think that someone <clears throat> probably got hung for being a witch, and that's why there's a little hesitation here because this is bringing is triggering something. Maybe you're not aware of it, <clears throat> but that's what's coming up in this lifetime where it makes you feel a little uncomfortable. Because if you, you know, a lot of times what we do now is what we did before and there's some, in some way or form. So that's what's coming up here, that it's going to be okay. You're going to, you're going to do very well with it, but it's like this, you're going to feel this very strong pull to help others to, it's going to be like, um, you might all of a sudden get like, um, some kind of messages like if you're in the store or something in line and all of a sudden you're say oh my god and your guides the angels your guys gonna be saying tell them and you're gonna be like no i can't just tell them and it's like yeah tell them and you're gonna be like no 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 i can't just say hey you know what the blah 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 and they're gonna be saying tell them and you're gonna have you're gonna it's almost like it's something's like how i can explain this sometimes you get such a strong push that you is not going to go away until you do it now of course if you're standing in line you know eventually that you're going to be able to walk away from this but if you do and you know you're supposed to give someone a message it's still going to bother you so that may walk away but i don't know if you might end up running into this person again somehow which is going to see see maybe against all odds or it's going to just feel like a each time it's going to feel stronger I mean, they might test you with one that's not as important just to see if you're going to do it, you know, but then there's going to be messages that have to be told that someone's going to have to say. So I know that's not going to resonate with everyone, but for those that you, you're already been feeling this. It's not like if this is coming up for July, it's not like you haven't felt this before. And a lot of you might be already doing this, but it might be saying that, okay, this is going to be stronger or this is confirmation that, that this is what you're supposed to do. Okay, let's see. In your spare time, in the spare bedroom. You know, I mean, that's where he's going to start. On the side. Off to the side a little bit, you know. <clears throat> okay, I don't want to take all those. It's like a lot want to come out for that. Yeah, I got two again. Okay, eight of swords and the two of swords. See, someone's going to be conflicted about this. But in their head, worried about it, conflicted about it, how do I do this. And, but also, like look, falling in this hole, like feeling trapped. And then you have here, also you have here with this two of swords. It's like she can't see, her hands are tied. But it's like, I almost feel like this might be a person coming to her, to her saying, you know tell me what you know and it's someone feels like they're trapped here but until you do what you're supposed to do you're going to feel that you're going to be mentally conflicted okay so now let's go over to our new placements so what's happening in the backyard so what's happening oh, not inside your house not inside your but outside let's see could be actually in your backyard Uh, we got two again boy a lot coming out for you guys okay so we have fire transmutation purification okay of course we do have fires in the backyard maybe a fire pit or maybe the barbecue but then it has fairies environment playtime enchantment okay so there's some kind of change going on around your backyard or and there's like a purification but it almost feels like it's changing because there might be some something in the environment where you have like little spirits um little what they call spites spites and fairies 
and playtime and enchantment. You might be feeling that in the backyard. You might say, this feels like a magical backyard. It feels like there's something about when you go there, you feel, you feel the energies, you know, and it could be, I would say plant butterfly bushes, um, bring the butterflies in and that helps with this energy. Um, like a very, yeah, they tell me plant butterfly bushes. That would be really nice. They like that. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. These cards are getting really like persistent feeling. Forgiveness. Okay, so I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Okay, now I'm feeling like go in your backyard. If you're feeling angry or you're resenting something or feeling um, I want to say something feeling not so nice towards someone go in the backyard and get grounded with nature and you'll feel a lot better and you might have to be they might be saying that you have to forgive someone Let's see the light. It's okay yeah. all right yeah so you might have to forgive someone and it might be someone that maybe comes over to your house or comes in your backyard or something like that It might also be an animal that caused destruction that maybe you have to forgive them. A groundhog maybe or... You know, I, I remember um, I made, I got this really nice birdhouse <laughs> and I painted it. I painted it white and I gave it trim and the shutters and it was a nice good size birdhouse. It was beautiful. And it had a roof, it had a chimney, it had everything. And um, I found out a squirrel made a hole through the roof of it. Or was it the back? I'm not sure now. Destroyed it. I was so upset. But I said, well, I guess it was, I was hoping it will be actually a birdhouse. It's so pretty. But I guess the squirrel claimed it. So I guess I bought it. I, I, and it, it took me. A long time to paint that thing <laughs> okay let's see <clears throat> so you might have something that you need to forgive in your backyard we have the nine of swords and this one want to pop over too so we have nine of swords and we have the strength yeah there might be some kind of anxiety some kind of sh stress over something having the strength to maybe forgive someone or I would say yeah go to the, go out in the backyard and and um it's gonna help help you heal something here Okay, let's see what's going on in the neighborhood. <clears throat> this could be a... <coughs> okay, someone might want to speak to you in the neighborhood. Or maybe you need to speak to someone in the neighborhood. This could be something to do with your neighborhood, around your area. Or, it, you know, your town, your city, whatever it is. Or it could be one person. But let's see what we get here. What's going on? We have kitchen creation. Ooh, are you cooking with others in the? There might be a get together where everybody gets in like someone's kitchen. Let's see, is there no? Yeah, it felt like another one. This actually really stuck. This was hiding underneath. We have ladies mantle is the flower here or the plant, and it has mother healing alchemy. <clears throat> so there's something being created in the neighborhood. There's some kind of maybe it's a, maybe you're like the mother figure. Or there's a healing taking place but there's some kind of alchemy and I never heard a lady's mantle but that's interesting the plant here and there's something creating maybe you guys are getting together and uh, having a cookout a barbecue but this will be very healing whatever it is is there's like a, a nice mesh of energies okay Let's do it this way but there's alchemy there's like magic to this Okay. And it could be like someone feels like a mother energy. You know, since I was a kid, <laughs> I was always the one who was always like taking care of people or helping people. And I was always called like the mother. <laughs> and I was real young. I could be a lot younger than a lot of people and I would be called the mother. 
you know, it's like, you're always mothering, you're always caring. It was like, if, if, yeah, I was always the worrier about everybody, making sure that everybody was happy or, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so that's what that reminds me of. So we have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Okay, so there might be something that if you feel like you're alone, there's going to be some kind of event coming up where you guys can all get together or do something here. It might be like forming a new group. There might be something new that's happening, a gathering here. Okay, let's see what else we get on that. Oh, we have the Four of Cups. Yeah, this is like look at all the fairies gathering around. Here's the Four of Cups. Here's an opportunity. Maybe someone might feel like they missed out on an opportunity here. But there's something coming together here. There's like a solid foundation. Four of Cups, I'm feeling like a gathering, of a celebration of... Um, it might be a four people here that is a group. Look how this card sort of like matches the colors here. This is the, the navy blue with the light blue, and then this card has all those colors in there. So it's like really blends well. And that's why I feel like this, the whole energy is about blending. Okay, so now let's see what kind of secrets we have in your attic. What's, what's hidden in your attic? Cards want to stick. Oh, summer okay so take an action something's coming to fruition here intellect and it's happening in the summertime okay and we have self-esteem I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others wow so something's coming together your self-esteem is being stronger and you're helping others there's a there's something about you just helping a lot of people coming together everything just sort of feels like it's falling into place for you guys okay and your self-esteem will be stronger be vibrant in the summertime it's going to be empowered by the sun it looks like okay We got two here. We have here. Oh, we got three. This is going to happen quickly. Have the chariot. Cancer energy. So it's, it, that is July, right? So cancer energy, the chariot. Look at the strength here. They got the white lion and the black lion. So it's like very strong energy. And then we have here, we have the six of swords moving away from something that maybe you're fearing or um, you're, there's a healing taking place. So moving away from some, something, there's definitely movement happening that might have been something that was being hidden at this time. It might be new to you or it might be something that you are you were keeping quiet but now it's coming out. The chariot, the six of swords. Definitely moving on quickly to, from something. And it's like, okay, so I guess it almost feels like there's a healing taking place in the nick of time. Because look at this card on top. It's like this person is like fearful they're going to be cut in half here. You know, the blade is is coming down. So something's going to happen maybe out of the blue here very quickly here. Moving on to something better. And this the four swords is usually a healing card. This card is very interesting. Okay. So yeah, I think there's a healing taking place. There's a lot going on for you. A lot happening. Okay. Now, let's see about the possible outcome. What do we have for the possible outcome for Aquarius? So we have passed over loved ones, comfort, forgiveness, and support. So people that have passed on on the other side are coming in because you're getting this connection here with spirit. So they're coming in, they're talking to you, they're, they might be helping you, assisting you, or they might be saying, oh, 
you're opened up to the gift so now we need to talk <laughs> so don't be surprised so we have green so this compassion love and cultivation this is what you don't see coming this is saying that there's com more compassion coming in for you more love coming in and you're cultivating things and i would also say when i looked at this card too i also would say green is money there's money coming in for you too that you don't see yet okay what an intense read huh nice though Oh, I'm getting the, um, they're saying that people have to, um, embrace their gift because you're, you're being told that now is the time that you can open up to your gift. Now we have here acceptance. Yes, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So accepting, and this is something you cannot change because you're supposed to be doing this. Okay. And then we have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So yeah, we have humor here. Too. These things, look at these cards. They sort of look so similar, don't they? And they're two different type of decks. And look how we got the green and the humor too. There, I, I really feel like there's a lot of healing taking place for you that you don't see yet. And there's also um, money coming in. And we have tempers. Yeah, things are balancing out. Sagittarius energy. A very calming, balanced energy here. A very peaceful energy. And um, it's also patience. It's giving you more patience too. Acceptance, patience to know that things are, are as they should be. Now we have here the Ace of Pentacles. I told you the money. And look how there's green on this too, right? This is so green. This is healthy, healing abundance i don't want to drop all the cards but i might just do that let's see look at that look at all that green so ace of pentacles opportunities coming in for you and this one is lie a little bit let's see what it oh actually there's a card underneath that wasn't showing this is denial i acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the insight of awareness okay so someone might be denying something and being afraid because they're fearful but gonna get through that your guys the angels are helping you okay so let's see what signs you could be dealing with i like this reading okay placement your chart placement other people chart past present and future let's see what we get here pisces did someone flip nope okay thought someone flipped Aquarius, there you are. Leo. Aquarius again, wow. And we have Cancer and Libra. Okay, so placement, your chart, placement, other people chart, past, present, and future. We have here Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Aquarius, Cancer, and Libra. Now we'll do the letters. 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for first and last name, and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. You get that initial also all the better. Past, present, and future also your own initials. We have J, Y, W A Oop Q B G D I T P Okay, so letters we have for today are J Y W A Q B G D I T P. All right, guys. So, if this did not resonate with you, go check out your other placements. It might not be done on the same day because I can't do all twelve at once. But eventually, I will have all the signs posted because it is a monthly, so I will do all the signs. So, if this 
didn't resonate with you or if you want to check out for more information you might find that missing piece that missing link the part of the puzzle makes everything click together when you check out your other placements so if you just checked out your sun and you want to check out your moon your rising your venus sign that will give you more information might give you that missing piece of the puzzle but thank you so much for all your love and support i truly appreciate you guys i love you so much thank you for your likes your shares your subscribes your comments your donations your super thanks i appreciate it all and oh i just got a pain in my my left ear oh so that is some kind of information coming in from the past maybe i hope it's not painful it's like weird all of a sudden a sharp pain it almost feels like listening to me you know you're going to be get, you're going to hear from people you're going to hear from spirits you're going to um hear from past over loved ones so um yeah this year i think you're you're finding your your path here so that's so ah, that's awesome i'm so happy for you guys okay Thank you so much, guys, and I hope to see you all again real soon.